everyone welcome back and welcome to today's DIY video I have some vases that I want to share with you all as well as a home decor item that was inspired by Pottery Barn so let's get started I'm going to start off with painting this beautiful vase that I found at HomeSense and I'm actually even using their plastic bag so I am just going to be painting it with this like a beautiful golden brown paint all of my paint are from Michaels they are also paints that I used in many of my previous videos where I painted my vases so if you purchase one of these paints you can keep using them they're going to last you for so long so they are definitely a great way to invest and they're not even that very expensive over at Michaels the paints usually are from around six dollars for the smaller ones to maybe like 12 and you can always use their 30% coupon and I love layering paints when it comes to vases because it gives that beautiful aged look to it and I also like when some of the color from the vase is peeking through as well I feel like it just blends so nicely and I'm just using a kitchen sponge as you can see I just cut it in little pieces and just kept rubbing that paint especially that darker paint in and it started coming all together it looks a little bit different after it dries so sometimes you just want to stop and wait for your vase to try to see the true look of it but I only did like two layers one layer of the lighter one and then a little bit of the darker and this is how the vase turned out I absolutely love this color let me know what you guys think in the comments below but it just reminds me of Italy of like Sicily you know hot weather and then just you know that very aged rustic pot and I love the warmth that it brings into our house so I definitely highly recommend for you to recreate that one and for this vase, you guys probably seen it before if you watched my previous videos, I decided to paint it again and the reason for that is I love styling this uh, vase over at our console table and since I painted it black, dark vase just kind of blends in so I wanted to just reuse this pot and just paint it over, there's nothing wrong with you know painting over all your vases that you have if you want to switch some decor just have fun with it the more layers you have on your vases the more beautiful they they look more aged so I'm starting off with some lighter paint just because this vase was a little bit darker the nice thing about both of the vases that I was using is that they already have texture so if you can find pots that have texture it will be a little bit easier for you to make them look more aged and right now it's actually a great time to start looking for vases and pots and lanterns because spring is kind of around the corner we're seeing more spring stuff in the stores so definitely start looking at their outdoor section because you can get amazing deals and the less finished your vase is the better price you're going to get and we're going to be painting it over anyways so doesn't matter as long as you can get a good deal you can also find some aged uh, pots over at marketplace it's a great place to find some as well for a decent price and again for all of the vases i just love working in layers so i just keep adding different colors and layers to this one just to blend everything and also whenever you apply only one set of paint your vases can tend to look very blunt and just um, don't have that personality to them so try using like darker colors and then layer some lighter ones as you can see I am actually working right now with the scratchy end or the scrubbing end of this uh, sponge and I am adding that kind of like fall texture to it with the lighter paint as you can see and it starts looking really beautiful it starts bringing out more character to the vase and then it makes it look more unique and as if it was actually aging by itself sitting somewhere.
So for this DIY, I am actually really excited because I've seen a similar clay beads over at Pottery Barn and they looked so beautiful. And then when I actually lifted them and I looked close, I realized that I can make something similar. And the ones at Pottery Barn, they retail for about $200. So I decided to try making my own and I purchased this clay. It's a dry clay. The color is white. But when you're working with it, of course, it has a more creamy look to it. But when it dries, it actually doesn't dry to like a very white color. It dries to more of a bone color, which I really love that look. So I was excited that this is how this turned out. So I just shaped mine into kind of like a square and then you just want to poke a hole just so you can loop your jute rope through it and just repeat it until you create uh, many of those and then just smooth out the edges they are so easy to shape and it's really easy to work with this clay so you can redo it if you feel like you don't like it but this is how mine is looking and I try to recreate similar not the same because I want them to be unique of course and I am not a robot <laughs> so this is how everything is looking like I made so many of them <laughs> so definitely it's going to be like an evening relaxing project it probably took me about 20 minutes or half an hour to make these and then I tried baking them I did put them in for 230 Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes they were not dry so I ended up putting them back for another half an hour they were still not dry but I just decided to leave them out for the night and then I started looping my jute rope and just placing all of them in in there and then once I had the ends I decided to cut them off because I didn't really like how they were sticking like this you can leave them however you want or you can actually make like tassels I know the pottery barn one that's what they have but I just like the clean simple look then you can just style it on books or something like this like a beautiful bowl and how pretty it looks I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY video let me know if you would like to see more and I will talk to you all in my next one